Hey, Steve Yanni here doing the Junkyard Crawl at Berniston Auto Wrecking in Berniston, Massachusetts with a first-gen international harvester metro van. Now, the term metro van has been used generically to describe delivery vans like this one, but this really is a metro van. We'll get to that in a second. But first up, let's look at the design of this thing. Uh, Raymond Lowy, who classically designed the Coca-Cola bottle, uh, the Studebaker Avanti, also did these metro vans, the first gens for Studebaker in 1938, and they were built through 1963. But another thing that Raymond Lowy did was the International Harvester logo right here. This arrived in 1950. If we look at it straight on, we see International, the I, and the H for Harvester, but also a tractor with a driver, a guy driving the tractor straight on. Here's his head, here's the wheels. So interesting piece of design work. Again, Raymond Lowy was one of the great industrial designers. But if we look at this again, this was designed and released in 1938. So it has a lot of Art Deco style to it, sort of streamlined, chrome, almost a Chrysler Airflow looking grill. And again, these from 1938 through 63 never had any major design upgrades or improvements. Uh, and again, these are available in half ton, three quarter ton, and one ton versions. Uh, this one here formerly saw duty with the town of Greenfield, Massachusetts. Right there it was a municipal van. Uh, steel, not aluminum. And again, the side strips here would help to prevent uh, damage to the body as these things were driven by people who maybe didn't care so much or you know would go into closed quarters and otherwise might grind it up. These kept it less damaged if something like that happened. Now let's go inside <laughs> and as we make our way in here, we can see something very interesting. And that would be, well, first up, these are always six cylinder powered. And there it is right there, the 220 cubic inch overhead valve, international six cylinder engine with a, uh, an oil bath air cleaner, single barrel carburetor designed entirely for fuel economy. Uh, no V8, some four cylinders were possible in these things, but I mentioned the term Metro. Well, we go up here and here are two important things. This is the VIN from International Harvester right here. And this says Metro. Well, that was the Metro Commercial Body Company of Bridgeport, Connecticut, which International worked with early on and bought in 1948. But this body was built in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and then shipped on a train with a bunch of other bodies to International Harvester's Chicago factory for final assembly. So this truly is a Metro. And the term Metro van applies to, again, the Metropolitan commercial body company in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Really a thing. Uh, the term Metro van was also used on Chevrolet and Dodge applications later, but they truly are this right here. Now, something kind of cool on these things is the reuse of other uh, parts bin items. This instrument cluster binnacle right here was from international pickup trucks and heavy trucks from, I think, 1957 on up. This piece here, die cast, it sits the top. And again, this one here, very austere. This is the stand drive seat. Now, a lot of these were used by people like milkmen, newspaper guys who had to get in and get out real quick. This seat here goes up and down and folds. And again, this is something that fits into a slot right here. I mean, try to get that past the DOT today. Good luck. But again, back in 1938 when this was designed, it was standard for the milkman to jump in, jump out, jump in, and a seat was in a way. So some days it actually stand and drive, and it was called the stand drive seat. Uh, other stuff in this thing, now this one again is a steel panel, no aluminum. It is insulated, and between the double wall construction here, there's a little bit of fiberglass, probably uh, loose stuff in here. This is kind of interesting, all these bits and pieces. This is weird. This looks like a 66 Thunderbird, or 67 or 8 Thunderbird valve or hubcap, right? Not so fast. Explorer. This is from a Ford F-150 Explorer pickup truck. The same basic stamping as a 67 Thunderbird, but instead of Thunderbird, it says Explorer. That is weird. Again, Ford reusing uh, a pattern, a tool for more than one purpose. But getting back to this, uh, just interesting to see all the different uses of space, the efficient use of space up here above the windshield. We see this right here, this little sort of cubby box. Open that up. And is there a python in there? Nope, no python. Just a place to put stuff, you know. But again, the use of space was uh, maximized on these things. The electric windshield wiper right here. No vacuum here, thank goodness, because these things do a lot of idling. Uh, but it ran both windshield wipers through these linkages and rods right here. 
And again, here's the warranty sticker right here. Check this out, warranty. International Harvester Company hereby guarantees this vehicle and parts thereof against defective material and workmanship for a period of one year from the date of purchase or 12,000 miles. Look at that, I mean, now we have five year, 5,000, six year, 60,000. So it's funny how back in probably 1955 or so when this thing was built, a year, or 12,000 miles was about as good as it got. With that said, this 220 cubic inch international truck six banger would probably go 100,000 miles with regular oil changes and without any uh, concern. This is gonna be a manual transmission too. Uh, handbrake up here, so no automatics, very austere. But again, you know, the town of Greenfield, Massachusetts used this as some sort of a municipal vehicle for many, many years before it was traded in or turned in here at Berninston Auto Wrecking, which is probably about, oh, 10 miles away from Greenfield. So it didn't get that far from home uh, when it finally retired right here on this spot. Now we'll be back tomorrow. There's another Metro van, this thing right here. This is the second gen, and we're gonna talk about this one tomorrow. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and be sure to come back tomorrow. We've seen the first generation Metro van tomorrow. We'll look at the second generation international Metro van. Don't want to miss it.